So hello everyone. Uh, I will start with my presentation. <clears throat> so my presentation today is uh, about recording voice and languages uh, with Lingua Libre. Lingua Libre is a project from uh, within the Wikimedia movement. And I'm uh, Hugo Lopez, a Wikimedian in residence at the University of Toulouse in France. Uh, and I'm a professional e-learning. Um, I'm an e-learning professional for at least 10 years, and I was active in the movement of Wikipedia since 2004. So I'm, um, I'm uh, quite experienced into creating open educational resources. And also, where uh, you, you may know, know me as a French person, I'm also from my ancestry. I'm from the Occitan, Occitan ethne or nation. Um, and that's related to my speech uh, today because um, I don't speak Occitan. And that's why I get, got involved in Lingua Libre, because the language of my ancestors have, been, um, have not been uh, transmitted to me because of some political and histori historical um, reasons. So for today, we will see, um, talk a bit about language diversity, then ling Lingua Libre. I will uh, make a short demo, and then I will discuss about, about the problematics and limitations we have. So for language diversity, um, the, the outline and the basic, basis of this, uh, you have large language family, but you also have about 7,000 languages across the world. Uh, we have 350 Wikipedia, so we don't have uh, all, we, we just have 5% uh, of these languages on Wikipedia. And if you zoom in, you, you could see language uh, 7,000 language and not just uh, 15 families, 7,000 language. And even in some country like uh, Indonesia in particu particular, you, each valley can have its own language. So this, lang la this linguistic and cultural diversity should be better documented. So the, di the dimension we are interested by with uh, Lingua Libre is to document languages but also within a language, you have accent, regional accent, with um, uh, different places have different pronunciation, like uh, British English, American English, Indian English, and the English language should not be always represented by uh, in British and American. We we should be represented, give visibility to every community which speaks this language. You also have vo difference in voices in France. Um, my my case study, we have different pronunciation with older people and younger people, because the older pe people, the French language was not their like, lat native language, so they have a strong influence from their background language, like Occitan or Breton or Alsatian, and so on. We also want to document the di diversity of genders, so we want different voices. <clears throat> so for language diversity, the diversity of our language, their word, expression, voice, are poorly docu documented and accessible. So what we want to do with Lingua Libre is to record, share, and make visible those expressions at large scale in an easy and quick fashion. And that's why we, um, we, made, we, we developed Lingua Libre. So for a short introduction, Lingua Libre um, as a, uh, its background history, it's come from, in, in France, uh, for the past 150 years, the government have prevented the local language from developing and from being spoken. So now most of them, uh, 20 out of 25, uh, are nearly dead, and five are still um, spoken in, on a daily basis. So the French government, under the influence of uh, European laws, started to support our local language, and we created Lingua Libre uh, via a collaboration between a uh, French university in Strasbourg and Wikimedia France. So we created a recording tools to document first uh, Alsatian by linguists, by academics, for e-learning purposes. Now Lingua Libre, of course, is available for all languages, supported by uh, Wikidata, so we can, uh, we can record all languages on, on the world. And uh, we even have a Wikipedia page in about 10 languages. So you can find more information on Wikipedia as well. For the concept, uh, the idea behind Lingua Libre is to... So we have languages and their pronunciation and their voice. We want to document them. Uh, 
um, we want to document them. So we have the speaker, we speak this language. We want to make it face uh, um, single page apps. So Lingua Libre, where I can record this, uh, this language. This create data. So we, uh, we create quickly a set of audio file uh, that, that we can release later. And this audio file in data can be used by e-service like uh, e-learning or Wikisionary and so on. Uh, I will make a demonstration now of Lingua Libre. So basically the interface looks like that when you, you enter the recording studio. So after this, give me a minute. Okay. And is it possible to use this microphone? So when you go to on, wiki, on Lingua Libre, you can connect here. When you are not, not connected, you connect here with your uh, Wikimedia Commons account. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So here you log in, okay? And here you have access to the actual tool. When you, when you click on record, you access the tool. Here, you can change the language, so you can put in Chinese, Spanish, or uh, all the whole set of language. And it's, uh, it's accessible on uh, Translate Wiki, so you can also translate into your minority language. Once you access the tool, okay, you first do a test. So, uh, Adishat. Adishat? Uh, you, you have your speed? Adishat. Oops. Adishat. It was not clear. Adishat? So I start to test. Adishat. Adishat. Adishat, Adishat. Adishat. Oh, it's this one. Adishat? Oh. Adishat? Adishat? Adishat. I will have difficulties to make the... Uh, Adishat? Okay. When we unplug, that works. Yeah. Okay. What are your microphone? Your laptop microphone? Adishat. Adishat. Okay. Okay. We will try like this. So when we where when we get here, we are at uh, step two. The speaker. I will do my best for making the, the demonstration and uh, explain to you. Uh, so when we are here, we are five, uh, five uh, steps. The second step is to define the speaker. So this ap application was built by linguists. So we want to define who I am. So I can use my Wikipedia id uh, id um, username. Okay. I'm saying I'm a male because for, for statistic and um, this kind of reasons. And here I can 
I can add a language. So I add Occitan. OK, I'm a beginner. And my learning place is Toulouse. OK. This is my place where I live. And I'm OK to share this data. So I go to the next step. You can add a, uh, all a bunch of language, but if your language is not in here, you can contact the administrator. Here, I can add a word. So by, exam uh, by example, I do means um, hello and goodbye. Or I can load, here I'm um, on Occitan, and I can load a list of words. So this one which is already in the system, which was provided by other, um, other contributor. OK, so now I have a list of words to record, so I can speed up my, uh, my work. I go to the recording phase. Now we are in the actual recording studio. So we have some shortcut. If I want to move faster, jump some word. If I want to return to some word. If I want to de delay it or just keep some word. So I use the arrow to, to, to go faster or the space to, to, uh, to stop the recording. So now I will record this. Okay. I press this button and I will start the recording. Uh, I do. Alice Kera, Atardira, Bola, Kakasbar, Kakasbar, Consolament, Desarabar, Desaiba, Divagator, Engolidor, Espirar, Pinter, Goteja, Javeliza, Marginal, Navigatrice, Particularitat, Polidor, Raspodia, Ras Zodia, Rimadis, Sirmenteja, Tolerable, Alisker, Atardivada, Bola, Cascanteja, Consolant. Okay. So you see the speed of the recording, and if we are fluent with this language, we can go faster. I'm not fluent. Oops. And I move to the next step. I made. I, I press pause. Yeah. I do. This is a review phase. OK? This is OK? Okay, if this one is not okay, I can uncheck it. So I will not send it to, public, to, to comments. And then I can send my 24 audio to comments. Okay, and you can see here, they are sent to comments. So this is directly sent to Wikimedia Commons. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's done, that will be on Wikimedia Commons. I turn back to my presentation. So, um, this is the idea. We generate data. We want to generate data so we can send it to Commons and then it will be automatically updated to, um, to Wikisionaries. 
so to several Wikitionaries, French and, uh, and others. And we can also download this data for uh, our own use. By example, if you go here, I can then look for Occitan. And here, I have the Occitan language and I can download it. And there is already 14,000 words in Occitan. And there is also some statistics about Occitan. So, and this page is accessible here, okay, the data set page. Oops. Okay, that's a data set page. I will go back. Oops, no, that was not what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, no. So now we have data to feed some uh, web apps. We already have some uh, web apps. And now I still have a few minutes to talk, talk about the limits. So in the past five years, we recorded nearly nine, over 900,000 uh, recordings. Uh, we, we made efforts on various kinds of language. So we have large language like French. We also have uh, Filipino and this kind of language. And we also have a smaller language like uh, Suri, which is just have 2,000 speakers. Uh, we also have sign language. That's a new project we, uh, I will talk about tomorrow. And so the questions are different with this language. By example, the smallest language sometimes don't have a writing system. So that's harder to, to, to record and document. Also, on the statistical side, we made some uh, data data visualization of, the, um, of our progress. And we can see that uh, most of the language, of course, are larger language. But now we want to, we, we have to, and we, we want to move to the smaller language. And of course, we, we still have a gaze with Europe, which is very strong, especially France. India, which also has a strong community. And West Africa, which are the three communities we have uh, the more active on Lingua Libre. Um, also, one of the shortcomings we have is um, when we send the, the audio automatically to the Wikitionary, right now it's mostly sent to the French Wikitionary, uh, Kurdish, Swahili, and Odia Wikitionary, but we need to, to make more bots to send to other Wikitionary, like the Chinese Wikitionary and so on. So, um, th there are quantitative. Uh, in terms of uh, quality of the, of the data, we have uh, bias between the large language um, with larger population and the minorities. And we also have a huge bias with 90% of our audio which are still um, male. And of course, that's rather younger people, but we want uh, elders to contribute because they have different accents. Um, this is a statistic for the coverage of uh, major language large language and uh, minority language. The larger, largest language are covered at uh, two thirds. So Polish, American, and so on. For, for smaller language, about a few million people, we start to have a third of them. But when we are about marginalized language, of course, where there are 6,000, over 6,000 small, smaller language, we just have 1% one, one of them. So we have to migrate there because it's where the linguistic diversity is. And so the, the objective we have is to create more, one of the objectives um, I have at least is to create, um, to nurture more services like e-dictionary and revi revitalization of languages. 
like Occita and like other minority language. Um, we have some friends from Taiwan. There is a great project in Taiwan which is uh, very strong on revitalization. And we have to learn from, uh, from this team, from this team uh, in Taiwan. And I think the Wikimedia movement, movement is a key place if you want to document the diversity of language because as you can see outside with a map of the, um, the attendee of the Wikimania, we are a global network and we are on focus on culture and, and so on. I cannot see. Um, um, we are focused on culture. So um, the global community of Wikipedia is ideal to reach every corner of the globe. Okay. And that's about my presentation. And you can contact me later for question and answer. Oh, do we have time for question and answer?